All right, let's do some stabilization here. So I've rearranged my panels here a little bit to remove some of the extraneous stuff. There's also a motion tracking workspace that you can use. I'm just going to use this one here, so I've adjusted the size here a little bit so as to expose the tracker panel. Now, to get tracking going, we need to select our layer here, go to the animation menu, and choose Stabilize Motion which is what we're going to be doing here. We're going to be doing a stabilization. And now you see that we've jumped into the layer window. We're working in our layer window here. And I'm still working at a 50% size here just to make sure that everything is on screen here. But that in fact, this is actually a 1280 by 720 HD frame at half resolution. Now you see that when I chose the stabilize motion function, it added something called Tracker 1 down here in the timeline and also added these elements here, this tracker point, something called Track Point 1. And you see that that actually consists of three different elements. And let me zoom in on that. And in fact, a, a shortcut for zooming in, by the way, that's a good thing to know, is if you hit the period key, the period key will zoom you in and the comma key right next to it will zoom you out again. So I'm going to hold down my space bar to get the hand tool to drag that up into place. And now you see that we're looking at a close-up of our track point, our tracker number one here. And there are three elements to this track point. There's this thing here, which is called the attach point. And the attach point is the thing to which the effect or stabilization or tracking element or something like that is going to be attached to the frame. In this particular case, because we're doing stabilization, that doesn't actually matter. We're not actually going to be attaching anything to this frame. But later on, when we do motion tracking, we will be. But for right now, the attach point is not a matter of concern for us. The next area of this thing that's enclosed within this rectangle is called the feature region. And the feature region is the area within which we are going to be looking at an object in the frame. And that's the thing that we're actually going to be tracking. So the feature is the element that we're going to track. And the region is the area around which we are going to be looking at in order to be able to track that element. So in fact, let me zoom out again here and grab this. And to do that, we need to sort of position it right inside there like that. And this gets a little bit tricky, as you can see, especially when this is small. So I'm going to zoom this up. But when you click in there, you get handles. But if you click within the area itself, you get the ability to drag that. Now you also see that as I do, the area underneath that tracker is being magnified. And that's a really handy thing to have when you're trying to zoom in on something that you're going to be tracking. Because what we're going to be tracking, in fact, is this kind of little T-shaped area of the fence. And that is an option that you want to make sure you have turned on. If you go up to this flyout panel here, you'll see that this thing is called Magnify Feature When Dragging. If that's turned off, you don't get any magnification. And there are times when you want to do that, but typically in our case, we want to have that on here. So as we drag this, it magnifies the feature and the feature area, the feature region, of course, is what we're interested in here. What we're going to be doing now is kind of zooming in on this T-shaped area of the fence. So again, let me hit my period key to zoom up on that a little bit, just so I can see a little easier what's going on. So. The feature is the area that we're going to be tracking, as I mentioned. And so we want to kind of bring this feature region in around that area fairly tightly, not too tightly, but fairly tightly so that it's clear to After Effects that this is the thing that we're going to be tracking. And this is actually a good object to track because it's a dark area against a light background, as you can see. And we are going to be tracking, in fact, the luminance or the brightness of this object and the brightness in this case and it's dark of course against a bright background but the relative luminance of this t-shaped area of the fence against that background makes for a good tracking point you can also track on color or on saturation and things like that and those are options that are available over here 
in the tracker panel. As you can see, you can look at the color channels, the luminance, which is the default, and the saturation. Well, we'll look at some of these other things a little bit later on. We'll just say okay for right now. So what we're going to be tracking here is the relative brightness of this area against that background. Now, in our next video, let's take a little bit closer look in more detail at what's happening here in this tracker.